Ready to build your Squarespace website? Let me show you how in this quick 2024 Squarespace tutorial video. Click on get started, then tell Squarespace the type of website you'd like to build and the goal of your website. This video is sponsored by Porkbond.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today. Get an additional dollar off their already low cost domains by using the code thefigco24 at checkout. If you want to find out why Porkbond.com is our favorite domain registrar, check out our 2024 best domain registrars video in the description below. Choose between selecting a website template or use the new Squarespace Blueprint feature to build your custom template. We'll start with the pre-designed template by selecting this option. Name your website, then click Next. Here's a short intro about the Squarespace platform. Click on Get Started. Once you've published your website, you can manage selling, marketing, and all the other processes right here. To build your website, click on Website. In the Pages section, you'll find the main navigation. These are the pages that are displayed on your site's navigation menu along the top. Common pages to include are About Us, your blog, services or store, and a contact page. Not linked is for the pages that don't show up in the navigation menu. Imagine you have a business with 10 services. You have a services page that is in the menu that briefly goes through all the services you offer, but then you have a page for each one of your 10 services. Those wouldn't go in the navigation menu. Those would go as pages in the non-linked section. To customize, click on edit. Now you can make any changes you'd like to this page. Each page consists of multiple sections, and within the sections, there are blocks. These are the different types of elements you can add to your website. If you'd like to save 10% on your Squarespace purchase, use our affiliate link down below in the description, and at checkout, use the discount code, the FIGCO. When you put your cursor over a section, you'll see a small bar along the right-hand side. To edit a section, click on Edit Section. On the right-hand side, you can see the bar where you can adjust the format of your section, change the background, or change the color of it. As you can see here, you can adjust the number of rows. If you want to add an image as the background, just click on Add an Image. You can upload from your computer, choose from your library, or browse online. I'll go with an online stock photo and choose this image. On the right side, you can see the focus point of a photo. This is basically used for different size screens. What is the most important point of a particular photo? So if you're looking at the website on a phone, a tablet, a laptop, or a large monitor, and make sure that the focus point is always on screen. Now that we have an image for the background, we can change the color so it's easier to read the text. Maybe just use one of these. Let's find a text color that works for the background. When done, drag the text box and change the position or size. By clicking on edit, you can change the text style. Let's make it a little smaller so it fits better and change the text inside. If you're done editing this part, click outside the box. Now you can add a new block inside the section by clicking on the add block button right here. Here you can find a bunch of different block options. Choose whatever you need. I'll add a quote. You can find the right position for it and change the text inside by clicking on edit in the top left corner. Here you can change the text inside and also the design. Let's change the text first. When you click on design, you can experiment with animations, change the background and style. I'm just gonna leave it as default. If you aren't satisfied with the section size, you can change it by dragging here. Below edit section, you'll see options for duplication, saving and changing the order of sections. After duplicating a section, you can then edit it. You can change the order of the sections by clicking on the arrow up or down. If you decide you don't like it, just click on remove. To edit an image, just click on it and you'll see the small icon in the top left corner. Now you can edit or replace the image or change the design. Why don't we change the design of this image? Let's change the shape. We'll rearrange this section. The text will go up above and under it will have a button for the blog. To edit the button, click on edit. Here I'll add a link to the blog and change the text of the button to read the blog. Now let's make changes to the footer of the website. This will show up at the bottom of every page on your website. Click on edit footer. Here we can put links to other pages just like we did a little bit ago. We can edit the whole section as well. Now if you wanna make changes to the header, you'll find the edit header button at the top of the page right here. We can adjust the title and logo, include different elements, and change the style of the header. We can also change the theme and the color. In the top right corner, you'll find the site styles icon. If you're like me and not an expert on fonts, I would recommend choosing one of their font packs, basically a different combination of styles of fonts that look good together. Now let's take a step back and explore the website's colors. Similar to fonts, experiment with different pre-made color palettes until you find something you like. If you already have brand colors, use your own custom colors. In the animation settings, you can add animations that will be shown when people go from one page to another or scroll down a page. Spacing, buttons, forms, and image blocks 
or other features that can improve the design of your website. Before you publish your website, it's important to see what it looks like on your cell phone, on a tablet, as well as on your computer to make sure everything is laid out properly. You can also test it right here. So you can switch to mobile view and check that everything shows up correctly on each one of the pages of your new website. Now it's time to publish our new website. First, I'd save all the changes you made, and then let's go into settings and then site availability. To choose your website, you're gonna to need to choose a Squarespace plan. Click on upgrade to publish. Here you'll find the four plans. Feel free to choose the one that best fits your needs. With any of the Squarespace plans, you can get a domain free for the first year if you pay annually, but the renewals of a .com domain, for example, cost $20 per year. That's where porkbun.com, the sponsor of this video comes in. You can purchase a .com domain for $10.37 and the renewal price is the same, 48% less than Squarespace. You'll also get a dollar off your domain when you, by using the code thefigco24 at checkout. Your domain purchase with Porkbun also includes who its privacy, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. Here you'll add your payment information. Once you're done, go back to settings, site availability, and set it to public and click save. Your Squarespace website is now live on the internet. If you're not quite sure if Squarespace is a tool you want to use to build your website, here are our favorite website builders in 2024. Or if you got your domain for free for the first year with Squarespace, but you want to transfer it to Porkbun to save money for all the years in the future, watch this video down below. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.